Hi Scorpios, how are you all? Welcome back to Enigma Scorpio channel. Let's see the messages for you. This is going to be something different. I'll try to bring out some new, different, unusual messages out there. And let's make it a little bit more exciting today. So don't forget to already like this video and subscribe and start commenting the moment I start pulling cards. And this is going to be a general reading as usual. So take what resonates and what does not resonate for more personals. I am there on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. So white previous spells. And we have crystals. Energize, activated with your intentions. And do like, share, comment, and subscribe in the end as well. And check out my main channel, I Enigma, where I have recently done a Scorpio read. I'll provide you the link below in this video and subscribe to both my channels. And if you want to show some love to my Hindi channel as well, don't forget to show that. Okay, check out my Instagram for May horoscopes coming up and April horoscopes. <coughs> They're done basically. Okay, so let's see, Scorpio, what are the messages for you? Okay, this came out all right your treasure is at hand okay let me pull this one message each and all right okay all right oh my gosh you don't want that all right Fire. Okay, now let's see. Okay, I want one love oracle message. Be your love oracle message, please. Oops, we got two. All right, three. All right, one more. Yeah, family. Okay, so what we have right now, the treasure is at your hand. Okay, right now, what I feel, Scorpio, is that you might be seeking your happiness outside. You might be thinking that if I travel to this place, if I meet this person, if I make them chase me, if I go for, if I fulfill my dream, my biggest desire, if I do this that I always want to do, that make me super happy. The truth is, it is you that can make you super happy. What is inside of you? If you've been feeling like everything is just repeating and repeating and repeating and I'm tired and I want some change in my life, the change is not going to come with uh, you seeking some happiness from outside it's just you need to come out of that routine because you're you know you you need that change of uh hormonal you know um <clears throat> rush in a way that the same you know um, hormones you know it, it kind of started like getting so boring that there's no not enough excitement left there's not enough happy hormones coming into your brain so i feel like you just need that you know um that push okay so for that you may need to really really come out of your comfort zone like maybe if you can go out for a walk like some like you can just spend really really good time with your with your pets you haven't done that uh, in a place, you know, where this can be something different. I feel just doing something different from what you've been doing usually um, will really bring that lost uh, excitement back in your life. For some of you already know that you, you are a treasure and you're happy wherever you are and you're ready, okay? So things are really doing well when you seek your happiness inside of you. Everything is inside of us, the universe inside of us. We're all made up of atoms and what is the minimum unit of atom we have protons neutrons electrons and these are the you know microscopic particles that join to form atoms atoms join to form cells cells join to form organ organ system human being and then we you know uh, become an energy like full-fledged energy a source of energy we attract energy we give energy so what is universe what are planets everything in this world uh, is made up of the basic element that i told you protons neutrons electrons right so because we are interlinked we are a universe in, in ourselves. you can see that we are not different from the universe we're all well connected that is why we are all one. Even we are all different people. We are Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We are Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Still, we are all the same because we are all made up of the same 
basic element and that is why it is all energy what we give what we take and we can change anyone as well okay when you talk to someone that's cruel to you with love and light that person will definitely seek your love and light and will give it back to you when you throw hate it will come back to you so how do you want to treat how do you want the energy around you to be is how you're treating others when someone is just too out of their control what you can do is just distance yourself from them and one day one day they do realize what they've done is not right so in short the universe is inside of us what uh planets are made of exactly what we are made of okay but our physiology is different our composition is different but the elements are the same so why are we seeking happiness in material things why are we seeking happiness in in objects it is all inside of us it is the happiness is comes from <coughs> spreading love receiving love loving yourself loving others you know uh connecting with animals connecting with nature everything that is that has a heart that beats okay that is where your happiness is so first of all your happiness is within you okay you're such a complex body we're all such complex body so we're like a universe in ourselves so why would we look for something that's already present inside of us from outside it is all inside of us so what universe is trying to say is see but more often than not stop looking elsewhere <coughs> you can always find prettier handsome skinnier wiser richer younger zippier whatever but more often than not one learns the most laughs the loudest and smiles the widest with those they're already found especially when they stop looking elsewhere it is all inside of you and the circle you are in that's where your happiness is and if some people are not gelling well with it is inside of you only i'm definitely seeing the message around here is trying to say that spend as much time with your family or your parents or your husband or your wife or your brother your sister your kid but the ones that literally treasure you these close ones these people are your treasure they make you happy they bring you back to who you are they make you realize okay this is you so what i'm seeing over here is that your family is your strong uh, is your strength and is your confidence and it's time for you to just get involved with your close ones that you consider family okay to revive you up okay these are the two messages and then we have c oh my gosh you scorpio right now really need to uh spend some family time here it's very 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 important someone in your family is missing you or might be uh wanting to spend more time with you or want to hang out with you but sometimes we see that they're all fine and we should be looking for friends so what i'm seeing over here is scorpio is time to give to your family maybe just gift them something really um interesting that can make them realize that they are valued okay it's time to give something to your family so i'm seeing <clears throat> some messages <coughs> exchange of messages with your family is going to brighten your family members mood up or this will brighten your mood up your connection with your family members is getting much more stronger they need your attention or you need their attention everything is healing up and you guys will like revive the bond in this current time and onwards okay all right so what else do we have here retreat and then love yourself first you guys i know that there's some people there are some failures you can see there is some disappointments that hurt you there is some past traumas there is some setbacks maybe currently maybe in the past maybe you have a fear of how things are going to be in future what you're missing out on in this i feel like it's time for you to disconnect of these kind of emotions okay and the people that never gave you anything in return it's time to disconnect and start loving yourself how do you start to love yourself when you're surrounded by people your family that really cares for you 
So a lot of healing is taking place when you're accepting the things the way they are, adjusting with them and renewing yourself and thinking beyond what's currently there. Like started dreaming again and going for it in a completely fresh uh, style. Okay. Some of you are listening to good music to revive themselves up, to make them feel more powerful, happier, good and excited. So I feel music will really, really heal you. It's very good time, Scorpio, that you can just um, hop into your playlist and play the most romantic or exciting song and just dance with it. Like that will really help you release all the pent up energy inside of you. Male, female, doesn't matter. So it's time for you to disconnect from the failures, from the desperate, anything, be it your career, there are ups and downs in everybody's life, life is never a smooth road. So the message for you is to just accept things the way they are and not take the material things too seriously, but rather give more importance to life, people, you know, uh, the living beings that has life in it. When you start valuing lives more than money, more than material things, your life is going to change because the treasure is in your hand. You already have what you're looking for. You already have. Okay, that's what it is trying to say. So it's time to disconnect from the feelings of sadness, fear, failure, remorse, uh, past, traumas. Uh, it's just time for all of this to start to take place okay it's time for energy revival energy healing so you don't really need to go for a reiki or something like terror reading or meditation nothing you just you can just be considering your close ones that you consider family spending time with them clicking pictures with them buying something expensive for them so that they can feel loved here okay so it is all messed up. It's all complex because we're all connected, though we have different emotions and energies around us. Now, what else do we need to see here? Scorpio. Okay, let me just take this off and pull the next lot of cards. Isn't this exciting? Do mention the comment section how things are in the street. <coughs> Scorpio, please, what else does my Scorpio need to know here? All right. Yeah, hold your vision. It's time for you to stay focused. Once you've taken a step in your life, do not hesitate. Do not pull back. Don't shift. Don't get distracted. Stick to that. And when you're in consistency, you will see that the luck has started to turn around in your favor. You can see that you are very close to your goal. You can see that you're becoming more active than you were. You can see that you're not procrastinating in your life anymore. Okay, let's see more. Some of you are in Aries or a Sagittarius around that really, really loves you. It could be your family members as well. Nine of Cups. It's time for you to bask in the sun, have fun, or just go out, have a vacation, spend time in the nature. It's time for you to just love yourself, do what makes you happy. Um, you know, sit in a you know very comfortable places, join in with your family members, heal yourself. I feel like your wishes are gonna fulfill real soon. Something that you always wanted will come to you on its own. But first, it is like you're learning to satis get satisfied in your life with yourself. I feel you're very satisfied these days. Touch wood. Okay. Magician. You're turning into a magician here. You're turning into a life changer. You're, you have the ability to change your life in the way that you always want to. But being in the present moment, I feel there's a very strong need to stop going into the future or the past and just change or give your 100% of energy, positive energy to the present. Because it's not too late when you're going to shift your life on a completely different level. Okay, just the way you expect it without clinging over it or despairing, desperately seeking it. Okay, so you are the manifester here. You are changing your life on a really, really, really broad level. Okay. What else do I see here for my beautiful Scorpio? You may have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius literally desiring you, okay? I'm wanting to take action towards you. It's time for you to come out of that 
zone of procrastination oh i'll do it tomorrow oh i'll i may not be able to do it no it's time for you to take action now and here and now okay whatever is on your mind it's time that you just jump into it okay don't think guys don't think all right so okay let me see is a pentacles wow wow guys it's time that your energy is getting revived healing much better than before and you're going to do something massive like there's a massive turnaround in your life just be patient i'm seeing that there's a major proposal in terms of a growth in your career in terms of promotion in terms of hike you are seeing grand opening when it comes to your career i'm seeing job permanency coming to you i'm seeing that whatever you were working on you were giving an exam you will see you'll clear it with such high flying colors you will be so happy so there is some solid uh commitment with the work that is bringing you a lot in return so you're getting the returns now you can see that your money is growing okay you are being paid so much more than you were being paid before so it makes you happy like there's a big smile on your face okay so now let's just close this and see what else we have here i can sense that within the one month's time or maybe time it could be one year as well you never know but what i can see over here is that you there is a possibility that the time has come you're about to build a family like a full-fledged family okay this could be a taurus coming in whoever is coming into your life in the near future i'm seeing you will be setting uh, a family with this person you guys will come to a commitment okay solid commitment is coming in just come out of your comfort zone you need to travel more you need to take breaks you need to make more friends or go out more and just gel with more and more people because that is where your person is or they like it when you're like living your life to the max and you're having more friends so i'm seeing a deep commitment in your life coming in i'm also seeing career wise and i'm also seeing love wise wow so there you go this is all about love here forgiveness so stop focusing your energy on the past events you do go back every now and then sometimes you do think like i'm not gonna love again i had this i had to go through this and this and this i feel like you're in this energy somewhere i feel like um every moment in your life is too precious and there's no point of still lingering back in, into the past so it's time that you will be retreating yourself disconnecting yourself and living the life of your dreams this is happening really really soon few more messages for scorpio this is resonating you finding it exciting don't forget to like this video and comment down let me know eight of materials you guys are going to be appraised you guys are going to be applauded and appreciated for the work that you've done i feel within eight months time you will be a completely different person in the eyes of your uh, co-workers your team your boss whoever you're working with um or the people that you're connecting with they can see you've changed a lot about your work in such a short period of time but with that consistency and the things that i told you you're working on it you're going to look amazing okay you will be shining people are going to see you like as if they want an, an autograph from you like you come off as very uh stable strong powerful successful like a manager like something like at a big scale or an entrepreneur as well or celebrity for some of you so something with very like strong looks appearance killer looks or celebrity or whatever or, you know you will be treated like that or employee of the month or you're just someone that will become irreplaceable in eight months from now so there's a lot of attention you're about to get in the near future you will be talk of the town in the re in, in real time soon and this could be an aquarius that is talking about you and is taking a lot of interest in you for marriage eight of emotions and the two of materials time for you to not be in two minds anymore when you know that this is not working out time to really stay focused that is very important for you right now okay 
So I hope this reading has helped you and resonated with you. This was a pretty calm and cooling reading. I try to make it a little different from the usual reads so you can enjoy. But this is really insightful and helpful for both of us. I hope you've enjoyed this read and help other people to also come and enjoy their Scorpio read. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. And do check out the I Enigma where I've done Scorpio love reading mainly and career reading mainly. I'll see you back again. Bye.